Wildlife Federation has been leading monarch conservation efforts across North America for decades. Through various partners, we are working in the Lower Rio Grande Valley of Texas and at Merrimack Springs Park in Missouri to create roadside habitat in urban areas that can help protect pollinators in peril, like the monarch butterfly. With over 17 million acres of road sites in the continental United States, we can greatly improve habitat connectivity by planting pollinator-friendly habitat that includes native milkweed and nectar plants along road sites. Studies on wildlife and pollinator behavior show that wildlife remains on the same side of the roads when they have access to food sources and shelter. By providing quality habitat for monarchs as they take their yearly migration route along the central flyway, we provide monarchs with the food, shelter, and cover they need to survive. Supported by the New York Community Trust and in collaboration with many other partners, we are also working to encourage and inspire local residents homeowners and students to plant wildlife habitats in their community that can support the monarch butterfly. My name is Wesley Swee, director of the James Foundation. The James Foundation is a private not-for-profit organization that owns and operates Merrimack Spring Park, which is located six miles southeast of St. James, Missouri. Merrimack Spring Park is around 1,800 acres in size and is home to the fifth largest spring in the state of Missouri. The James Foundation started its pollinator initiative in 2019, intending to convert the 150 acres of roadside into a vibrant monarch prairie habitat. We knew that support from the residents was crucial for this project, and when the public heard of our plans to protect the monarchs, they were ecstatic. We started partnerships with the Xerxes Society, Conservation Federation of Missouri, and the Missouri Department of Conservation and the National Wildlife Federation to help us achieve our goals. Since the project started, we have had dozens of active volunteers that have helped us convert the land and prep it for its monarch habitat. Since this new monarch habitat will extend for about a mile along Highway 8, we know that residents will get to drive past a dense array of wildflowers and monarch habitat, furthering their connection and support for monarchs. In partnership with the Texas Department of Transportation, we are restoring native habitat along highway road sites in the Lower River Valley of Texas. This habitat will become wildflower meadows and will eventually provide quality habitat for the migratory monarch and many other pollinators. The Lower Rio Grande Valley of Texas is a region spanning the border of Texas and Mexico located in a floodplain of the Rio Grande near its mouth. This region is recognized for its extraordinary biodiversity, containing a documented 1,200 native plants, 300 butterflies, and about 520 bird species. This is why conservation initiatives like ours are so important. So far, through our work, we have converted 44 acres of roadside habitat on highways 77 and 281, including the Brooks Safety Rest Area, which will give high visibility of the wildflower meadows to all travelers who pass through. In the spring of 2022, we started converting another 31 acres on Highway 77, with the goal of restoring a total of 75 acres across Texas highways. Through the National Wildlife Federation's Mayor's Monarch Pledge, hundreds of mayors and local leaders are reaching local biodiversity, climate resilience, and wildlife conservation goals by creating quality native habitats along road sites and through their communities. For more resources to support monarch conservation and to learn from more partners in Texas and Missouri who implemented successful roadside habitat projects, please visit our Mayor's Monarch Pledge website at the link below. 
We please thank the New York Community Trust for sponsoring this work and our partners.